auspicious day, 125th anniversary of Baba Sahib Ambedkar. Uh, we are gathered here to pay homage not only to Baba Sahib Ambedkar but also to Rohit Bhandula. This is not a usual celebration. It, it is a celebration that also uh, subsumes a lot of painful memories. But I wouldn't really want to dwell on it for today. Uh, I would like to say a few words about the language of hope and the language of the future, which Baba Sahib Ambedkar had uh, made available. I strongly believe that one of the reasons why we are not able to realize the dreams of Baba Sahib Ambedkar is he dwelt into the future. And it is going to be a long struggle and there will be many more Rohit Vemulas along the way who will inspire us to this destination which for now uh, has been in very difficult uh, times. Uh, a few words about my own stay on this campus. I've been here for, the mo for more than 18 years and I've been closely associated with the Medical Students Association. Uh, for all the faults, I think this is one of the few student organizations anywhere in the country which has crystallized some ways of understanding society, of understanding privileges, of understanding discrimination, and has been constantly voicing a sort of cultural movement, a sort of cultural revolution, if I have to... Uh, it, it is not an exaggeration that they have been at the forefront of changing the nature of a Brahmanic, a Savarna mode of pedagogy. And this is a very difficult project, but I think they have had a, a really good innings uh, in, in some sense of the word. And today, if Rohit Vambula represents something, it is this idea of a cultural revolution. It is not, I respect to due respect to Professor Periyasami, uh, it's not only about fellowships, scholarships, etc., which will actually give us a space in this sorts of elite institution, but also in some ways transform the space, a space where you're not looked at differently, a space where you could comfortably sit and accept it as a fellow student, a fellow teacher, etc. Now, this has been a long struggle, especially feminists would know that it's not been an easy struggle for them. And so, the Dalits also, through this association, uh, I'm talking about the Ambedkar Students Association, uh, have in more than one ways tried to provide an alternate way of thinking about uh, society, thinking about pedagogy, thinking about a future India. I thank uh, Jack, I thank ASA, uh, I also uh, in some ways pay my homage to Rohit Bambula, his profound uh, letter that he left for all of us and I think we will be talking about it for more than us, uh, I don't know how many decades that letter is going to be pregnant with meaning and uh, it's not going to be easily deciphered. Uh, we are still in uh, witnessing the experience and participating in the experience. It's difficult for us to stay out of the experience and think about what has happened. Uh, with these few words, I thank Jack for organizing this event and giving me an opportunity.